Hi everyone and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet. I just had something on my mind, I don't do this very often, but I just, I just want to talk casually to you. So today I was driving around and listening to an old song. And in that song, there is something mentioned in the hook, which is uh, about smoking a joint with Jesus in heaven. And when I heard that line, it made me think a little bit. I mean, I, I, I smiled and I thought... It is interesting to hear this line from someone who still identifies as a Christian and who will most likely die as a Christian and is considered a Christian by his community and who is considered a Christian by people who pray for him, who know him. He will be buried as a Christian. Hearing that, I thought about uh, Muslims, Islam. I cannot imagine any Muslim say stuff like, I would like to smoke a joint with Muhammad in heaven. Or I would like to dance with God when I'm dead. And I thought about how ridiculous it is that Islam is so extremely and absurdly serious. Of course, the regular Muslim and Muslim apologist will say, well, of course we don't do things like that because we respect our prophet and we respect Allah. But no, that's, that, that, that's not it. You don't respect your prophet. Why you would need to respect your prophet is beyond me anyways. Uh, for that, you can refer to the video that I published just a few days ago, which is called The Cult of Muhammad. But you don't respect your prophet and you don't respect Allah. You are forced to respect Muhammad and forced to respect Allah. Because you are told that if you just get a little bit less serious, that if you say the wrong word or you laugh, you just chuckle about something, you find something funny, you make a joke, although you still believe in your heart, then you would be burned and rejected and you would go to hell. Allah would be angry with you and Muhammad would, would, would turn your, his back on you. Why is it that Islam must be so incredibly serious for no reason? Looking at it from the outside, it just seems so ridiculous that you are on this planet and you have this brief life which you spend to find out uh, what all of this is about and you try to make a living and create a family and take care of your children and love and are loved. You find meaning in life. But in Islam, you are also told that you can definitely not, even if you believe with all your heart, you cannot find something funny because it would make you an enemy of Allah, possibly. And may Allah protect you of that. Why do people have such a stick up their ass with Islam? How is this in any way healthy? How is this natural? How does that come from your heart? Am I really the only one who thinks that this is incredibly absurd? I know, a regular Christian doesn't say, I'm gonna smoke a joint with Jesus in heaven. A religious Christian, especially, probably disapproves of that. The point is that a mild Christian can still talk like this out of sympathy, out of joy and still speak of himself as a Christian, and others still consider that person a Christian, because there is a completely different relationship. There is no relationship of uh, master and slave, and someone whom you have to just be afraid of, and be distant from. And no, I don't want to make this a praisal of Christianity. That's not the point. The point is that Islam is just so serious, that there is no joy in it at all, that you cannot even express your joy in believing in Islam in form of music and dancing, which is prominent in the old scripture, in the biblical scripture. You can't make pictures. I mean, have a look at how boring and how depressive Islam is. You can't sing, you can't dance, you can't make jokes, you can't laugh. What you can and can't laugh about is incredibly limited. You are taught to reject and to hate. There is no art in Islam, no creativity, nothing. It is just so serious and so devoid of joy. Isn't it incredibly sad that you are supposed to live a life full of depression and rejection and some ridiculous obedience in the name of submission, Islam, literally. Muslims, lighten up a little bit. Life can be amazing. And no, I won't go to hell and be punished because of what I just said. Stop being so terrified. I mean... We could just laugh together about things if you didn't want to kill me. <laughs> Anyways, that's all that I wanted to say. Thank you so much for listening. I will be back very soon. Have a great day. And as always, stay away from Islam.